Hello everyone, this is Lord Raccoon and this is the new tutorial for the crash landing server install. So first things first, open your Fitbit launcher and uh, you're gonna have to find your crash landing uh, over there. So first thing you go is on third party mod pack and find crash landing. If you don't have this one here, so you never play crash landing, not a problem, go on pack code and type boom and we will download this directly and you're gonna have this installation here so best way to go go install your mod pack for the first time so that's a good thing second you have to download the server because we are gonna create a server so when you click download server here you're gonna pop up another page and you're gonna install crash lander server dot zip once it's finished i'll be right back and there you go that was not so bad so what i'm gonna do is just open the folder showing folder here so i have this on downloads crash landing server if you have winhar open it no problem if you don't have you can just download 7-zip it's for free really good one the link is going to be on the description down there so uh extract files and then i gotta decide what i gonna save this thing here so right now i'm gonna go to my desktop tutorial and uh, make a new folder uh no i i well i don't need a new uh, Forget new folder. I'm just gonna get need tutorial. Why? Because I'm gonna create the crash landing server already. So when I do this, you're gonna unpack everything. And uh, let me just close this. Close that because I don't need. And uh, open my tutorial here. Okay, new folder. Forget new folder. You don't need that. It's just one step ahead that you don't need to go. So crashing landing server. That is the one. So you have this thing here. Okay. And then you try to click on the server start.bab and you have a big error. Why? Let me show you something. Okay, so I open my control panel. What I did, I just uh, right click on the start button and uh, there's option to control panel. So I'm gonna go on system and then I go on system again and it's gonna give me this one here. This is my Windows 10. I have six gigs of run, 64 bits operation system. That's good. So. Uh, I go on advanced system settings, okay, and then I'm gonna pop up this little window that shows all this information, including this environment variables. So right here on the top, I have this path here. Why? Because I created. So what? I, pro, let me just delete this one here. So I'm gonna create a new one. So name I'm gonna call path, and then value here is the address that I'm gonna put the, the, the link for my Java installation. Where do I find that? So, first I open here, I go my, well, you're probably not gonna have all these things here, but if you find your drive C, you're supposed to find your program files and program files x86. Uh, if your system is just 32 bits, you're just gonna have this one here and won't have the 30, 86 on side. My computer is 64, so I go on program files on top, and then I'm gonna have Java. It's important that I have the Java version 7 installed here. Okay, so I'm using Java version 7, 64 bits. If you need to download that, easy way to go open your browser, Google, and type JRE 64 bits and uh, or better than that 7 64 bit download okay so when you get this one on google you're gonna find this one this is the download page i'm gonna put this on the description too not a problem so what you need to go go to the last version accept perfect and then download this the installation file that you need for my case here i need the the 64 bit version so i'm gonna download this one here if you need uh, 32 bits, you can download like the other one. If you have other system, Max, Links, whatever, you have to download the proper version for you. In my case, I downloaded this one, I installed, and that creates this one here. Java, program files, blah, 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 and I have to go on the bin folder, and I click on the bar on top. So it's gonna be C program files, Java, RE, 7, bin. So I copy that like, copy close this and then i paste it here okay perfect now i have my path linking to gre7 bing 
good. Once I have this, I click OK. OK, I can close everything and that will be good. So once you do this, you run server star.bat. And then I'm going to open like this small command window here. And then I'm going to start your server. Yeah, it's supposed to work. And uh, as you see on the background here, it's creating a lot of uh, new files and something like this because that's the first time you run that. It's going to take a while. And once it's finished, I'll be right back. Okay, and seems to be finished. So you're going to have all the files, everything that your server is running good. So right now I don't need any of those windows. I need just to go here on my third pack, crash landing and start my game. So this I'm going to show how to connect right now. Perfect, my game is open. So what I need to do is go on multiplayer and then you're going to see there's no games available. I need to add a server. Since I'm running the server on my own computer and I'm just connecting myself, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that later, how to jo join your friends on the, on the game itself. I'm going to connect to a local host that is the address that loops back to your computer. So 127.001. Okay. And when I do this, there you go. Minecraft server, uh, give all the information, my address and everything, and uh, I can connect. And that will be my server and uh, I'm back on the game. Okay, so that's good. I'm not going to play right now. Let me gonna show other things. So let me just disconnect this. Kit game. Okay, so now what I have is uh, on my server install here. Uh, let me just close my server. Stop. Wait a little. Okay, now server is closed. Now we're going to start configure a few things here. First things first. You go here on server properties and once you open that you're gonna open like a editor here i'm using notepad plus plus it's a really good software if you need to download i'm gonna put the download links on the description down there and that gonna have all the information we have here so first thing is uh you have to check is there you go level name creates this one uh, server port, that is really important. That is the standard Minecraft port, so 25565. You probably typed that already when you want to connect to someone's server. That's really important to memorize this thing here because we're going to use later. Uh, second thing is, uh, let's see, whitelist is false, that means everyone can join. Hardcore true, that is super important because crash landing is hardcore. Online mode, yes, this is going to avoid you to have lots of problems, live on true mode. Uh, if you have like a known regular copy of Minecraft, you won't be able to connect. So what I advise you to do is not to put that on file, false, it's just to buy the version of Minecraft, okay? PvP is true on K difficult 3, that means really hard. And uh, command block, it's false, you don't need that. Game mode 0, that means survival, okay? Max players, 20. If you're running that on a computer that is not really beefy, I don't advise you to have like 20 players connect at the same time. Let's see, 10, it's a good number. Uh, you're not gonna have more than 10 friends play on the same time. And on view distance, if you're lagging a little, I strongly advise you to reduce that to eight or even six, okay? And that is what I'm gonna show when you try to log on the bottom. Okay, so once you do this, you save, good, and then close, close, and uh, that's good. Now we're going to go on other things, uh, whitelist. If you select here on the properties that you won't have whitelist, you have to add your name to this whitelist or else you won't be able to start. Uh, when you have this uh, server.bat here, that is the start on the server. I'm going to right click and uh, click edit here, and then I'm going to open my notepad. This is how much memory you're gonna use to run your server. Right now I'm set up for uh, two gigs of two gigs. Uh, truly I prefer to use like more than that because uh, I have one computer that I run a server and the other one I run on my, on my computer. So for the server itself I'm gonna put here four gigs. Uh, easy way to do. You just put like four. Oh not six. Four and you put a big G on side, okay? On the first one, XMS, you put 4G. Good, then you save, and then you close. 
okay and then you run back again and uh yeah there's an error yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah i just uh misplaced right click edit it's not on the xms it's on the other one you have to put. so this one here i'm gonna put minimum of two gigs and this one here i'm gonna put max of four gigs much better <laughs> close save and run okay now now it's working I just uh, misplaced. Sometimes it's on the opposite one. So if you did the right way, you're gonna show right now. So I'm running my server with four gigs, max of a minimum of two gigs. That's pretty good because with 10 players, there will be more than enough. Crash landing is not a mod pack that you're gonna play with a lot of people at the same time or else you won't have any resource left for everyone. So once you do this and you start your game, you'll be ready to play. Uh, okay, so, um, that's good, I don't need to do this right now. I'm gonna show how to open the ports on your computer now. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I opened my router. So my router is a Netgear Nighthawk R7000. So for this one, uh, the address usually is not the one you see here. This one is because I set up, I tweak out everything I need. So that is the address of my router. I change it is not by default so if you want to know what is the default address of your uh, router search on google your name of the router and default address uh, admin password and everything so i know my my information so that's why i'm here and in this case i'm gonna go on the advanced tab and then i'm gonna go on the advanced setup why because i want to find something like that port forwarding port triggering so you're supposed to have that on the advanced tab of any router that you use. Okay, else you go here, you're gonna find like lots of things, including like I set up a lot of ports because I have a TS server and uh, Minecraft server. There you go. I'm gonna, it's right here. So it's right open. I have my port external 25565, uh, internal port is start, start and finish. Internal port is exactly the same, and that's the IP address of my computer. So, if I have the IP address of my computer already here, I, I have to know all this information prior to, to select this thing. Uh, you're supposed to reserve the, the, the IP address of your computer first, because every time you connect to the network and change the IP address, that's not going to be valid anymore. So, you have to reserve. There's an option to reserve, like... Uh, uh, DNS or something reserving on your computer, do it. Okay, so once you do, you create this uh, rule here, you'll be able to select and uh, you're gonna be open to everyone. So just you need to find your external IP address and how way to go. You just search on Google IP address and then it's gonna give you our IP address. Okay. I'm not going to show because I'm going to show my IP address and I don't want to show that on the internet to everyone. No problem. Uh, I don't suppose you, you're going to do that too. So, well guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you like, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I do few tutorials and lots of gameplay. If you like my work, please consider on subscribing it and sharing with your friends. Okay, have a good one and bye-bye.